Hey everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the Quick Selection tool. It's one of my favorite selection tools because um, it kind of works like a brush, like you're actually brushing on some of the uh, stuff and you can adjust the size of your brush and everything like that. So the Quick Selection tool here is um, right next to the lasso tools and right below the move tool it is right here and quick selection tool now you'll get an icon that kinda looks like a crosshairs and uh, this is your basically your paintbrush where you can paint on your selection now to adjust the size of your um, crosshairs or paintbrush icon here use the left and right brackets on your keyboard and uh, they'll increase and decrease the size like so <clears throat> so with this uh, type of tool I can come in and almost finally come in and uh, paint on the different sections that I want here so click and hold and uh, this will paint in the different contrasting sections here and you notice that right now um, I, I was just trying to get the basket but I've got some extra up here and uh, maybe a little too much over here now what we can do is hold down the alt button and the plus crosshairs in the middle turns into a negative and just click and then that'll erase some of the selection that you had that you maybe didn't want so like that use the zoom tool to zoom in and figure out what else you have to do so um, there's too much there and one of the good things is that it um, tries to figure out what's best for your selection now you can see it doesn't get like in there like perfectly but it's um, pretty decent a little too much over here probably there we go and then anything that's within the circle is going to be cut so there we go now I've got the basket all nicely made now I will all try something like this tire um, it starts selecting where the selection tool really starts um, like be becoming like a weak tool is when we get into areas like this and uh, most of the selection tools aren't the greatest for working with um, stuff that has like a bunch of things in front of it so if I try to go down here it's gonna start trying to collect all the wheat and all that stuff so what we would need to do is use like our lasso tool or something like that to cut this out on our by hand probably now we have a couple different options up here for the selection tool here we've got um, the first one up here is ju just gonna be um, creating a new selection and then this second one here with the plus sign above is going to be to add to the selection and subtract from the selection is the next uh, button so this is not holding alt and then holding alt will change it to the negative selection or you can just click up here if you would like now we've got our brush type here we can set our hardness spacing size so uh, hardness if we put that down it'll be like a much more liberal selection because it's a lot soft, softer and um, our spacing you can just uh, mess with that to get a, a little bit more um, finer tuning detail within your selection tool so if I put the spacing up now and start trying to select with it it's gonna be a little bit easier and it's not gonna select all this other stuff like it did over here so um, that's how that works. I'll put this back down to like 50% or something like that. We can set up the like the type of angle we want on a brush. So if we go like 50 or something like that, um, not too much difference with when you're messing with that, but that's uh, kind of up to you. We got roundness. Let's put that at zero and see what we get. Now you can see that we get like a slice going on here. So that you can upgrade or you can uh, manipulate the different kind of uh, angle and what kind of crosshairs you want to use. And then you got size here, which says pen pressure. 
Um, if you're using a pen tablet, you can use this. Um, you can use your stylus wheel to move the size. So I'll, that's up to you. So if I click and then, oh, not working. I don't have a stylus. That's why. Duh. I just have a mouse, so that's can't do that. So we got our uh, sample all layers button here, which means that um, if I had multi-layered objects, it would actually create a selection around every single one of the uh, objects that you have, each layer, instead of just the layer that you have selected. So it'll select that. If you have, if you're selecting the one on top, it'll also select everything below it. If you select the one at the bottom, it's also going to select everything above it if you have sample all layers. Now the auto enhance up here, the selection, um, just check that box to reduce roughness and pixelation on the edges. So that's up to you. It depends on what your edges look like. If they don't need it, don't use it. If they do need it, then that's uh, fine. Use the auto enhance. So. Um, that's uh that's all for the selection tool. It's a pretty helpful tool. It's my favorite out of the different uh, selection tools. And um, next we'll go over the magic wand tool, which is a lot of other people's favorite tool. So might as well uh, do that one next. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Look forward to seeing you guys viewing the video. Have a good one.